Okay, it's friggin' May. Time for some warmth. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Man, oh man, it's cold out this morning again. Damn near freezing. Holy! She's today, not yesterday, not tomorrow. She's today. So we're just gonna head in here and see what today brings. All I know is it's nice and sunny out. You can't ask for a better clear day. We just gotta warm that sucker up a little bit. Looks like there's some snow clouds behind me. Look at that burn, eh? Wouldn't you like to have that sucker? Hot, decent. Anyway, we're gonna roll in here and see what's what. Maybe get a day or two through. I was working on stickers last night and I'm having a good time with that. I forgot to order um, vinyl adhesive tape. In other words, a tape that goes on the actual sticker so you can peel and stick it. So I'm on hold now because I had ordered some of that last night. And yeah, that stuff, they don't give that stuff away. Well, hey, uh, pardon me. I uh, feel a little bit of acid reflux this morning. <laughs> I'm going to bring the camera with me in the van today, just in case I need you for anything. So, you might have a little view of this and that and the other friggin' thing. But we'll have to see. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. Leave any comments below, because I like to hear what's going on on your side. Uh, I'm here. Too early. Got something going on up here, Jim. Holy do we ever. Yep, somebody's got whacked. Captain. Oh, I feel the debris on the road. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, dick. Actually, that truck looks worse shaped than that. Oh, maybe not. He got hit pretty good, too. Thinking about uh, putting them tracks on the old Van Ruski. What do you think, Jim? Some nice cranes here. There is. This one's getting some maintenance done on her. A little missing some gun, she is. And there's a Grover. Decent. Just escaped, and we're gonna go down to the outdoorsman and check herself out fishing rod. Because my 10 footer ain't a very good rod to go fishing with because when you wanna sink a hook and you pull on it, it doesn't do anything but flex. Frank! Outdoorsman, tackle and bait. Decent. Let's check it out, see what's going on. We're in the old outdoorsman and they got me. Well, I got myself, Captain. What? happen for rod reel and some bait let me tell you what when i get home i'll show you a rod well here we are at home and i'm going to show you a couple things this is uh 10 second fishing with dirty old bilsif 10 second of fishing so i'm a professional non-fisherman just so you know i don't fish so i'm a jack of all trades master of nothing when it comes to fishing so i ordered myself some fishing line there on amazon it's a uh, 30 pound test, smoke blue. Yeah, don't need it. Then I ordered myself some of this stuff, the ultra smooth, just in case for like tag-ons and stuff. Guess what? I don't need it. So Brian said, you need to go out and get yourself a better rod because my rod is a 10 footer and it's not a stiff rod. It's very loose, it's about 20 years old and I needed a rod where I could feel a nibble because I guess when you're fishing for a while, they bite nibble and you have to yank when you feel a, feel a fish online. So. We went out and we got ourselves one of these Fenwick HMXs. Okay, not a bad looking reel. A rod, sorry that's a rod isn't it? Not a bad looking rod, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. There she is if you want to know and get your own. There it is, Captain. Not a whole lot of money, but not the cheapest rod on the market either. So, and then we went out and we got ourselves one of these reels. Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. We only got ourselves one of them reels. She even strung her up for me with some pretty good line there. But let me tell you what, that goes backwards, Captain. Let me tell you what, this thing is friggin' smooth. Listen. Oh, decent, eh? That's not a bad little rod re reel right there. Whatever that does, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that does either. We'll figure that out later. But there you go. So now at least we'll be able to catch ourselves some walleye. Nothing like some walleye, Captain. Should be able to get this on here somehow. I'm not too sure how the heck she did that. How do you do that? Oh, that's how you do it. So this rod apparently has a five year friggin' warranty on it. So that's not too friggin' shab. So if she breaks, you take her back and they give you a new one. Not too sure why that's there. I'm not too sure what that's for. Does anybody know what that's for? Leave a comment down below. Maybe put your line through it. Oh, but that is a beauty. That there, it's a nice rod. Oh, it's nice and hard and stiff. Just the way she's supposed to be. Friggin' right. Let's get the reel on there, see what it looks like. I don't know why they don't have a reel that matched, but hey, there you go. What do you think? 
Not too shab. There she is. Nice little tip you can hold on to. Okay? And we can go. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. That's much nicer than my other one. Oh, yeah. You should be able to feel anything on there. Let me see. Wiggle it. Oh my god, you feel anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got her. Bring her in, Jim. And. Decent. Well, there you go. Wanted to show you that because that's what I do. So we got ourselves a good rod and I promise you when we go out fish next time I'm gonna catch something for you. So leave your comments down below if you want to see that. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell if you want to see that because it's always much appreciated and we'll uh, see what we can't do for you. Love y'all and you know what to do for now.